guys, welcome back to another episode of Up and Running. Today we're going to start taking a look at a new car that we've got. It's a 1978 Lincoln, so I hope you enjoy it.
All right, we're gonna throw this thing up on the lift and take a look at it. These cars are just tanks, they're awesome. It's got a 460. This car, I believe, has every option that they offered. It's got the sunroof, it's got the CB. The original owner had their initials put on the door. That was an option. So, well, I'm going to throw it up in the air. We'll take a look underneath. got this thing up in the air let's walk underneath it and take a look at it overall this thing seems to be in really nice shape uh, should be for only 37,000 the resignators um, are both rusty but the rest of the exhaust system is is not uh, it's got a new gas tank in it or a newer tank nine inch rear end they're the original mufflers floors in here looks like they were uh, uh, you know brand new <laughs> you have ground straps on the exhaust C6 automatic trans Floors in here are awesome. Another original muffler. Hey, I've got a great idea. I just thought of this. Let's take a look at some more Super B pictures. This is what the trunk looked like when I got it. As you see, it was full of stuff. Not only parts, but mouse droppings, rat droppings. There were all kinds of little tiny pieces in there. So I had to sift through all of that to pull all the little tiny pieces uh, that I would have struggled to find otherwise. You can see the air cleaners in there, a water pump, an air uh, intake manifold, the drive shaft, all kinds of stuff. There weren't any areas in the car that didn't have uh, the rat and mouse droppings in it. And everywhere in the car they were full of parts. The smell in this car was just crazy unbelievable. You couldn't even stand to be in there. It was horrible.
this picture, I had cleaned and vacuumed everything up out of the interior of the car, and then I pulled the back seat out only to find this. It was so packed full under there, I really struggled to get the seat out. I had to have help. I noticed the next day after I cleaned everything out there were still droppings in the car so I put both mouse and rat traps out and this is what I got. All the floors were super solid in this car, so that was a pleasant surprise. Here you can see some of the factory markings on the paint yet. All right, stay tuned next time as we continue to work on the Lincoln. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell right next to it for your notifications, and click the like button. Thanks for watching. Stop me just before I hit anything up there. Okay.